The curtain's going up tonight on a matchup of the first and second ranked teams in Class 4A Division 1. And they just so happen to be fierce rivals. Undefeated McPherson visiting undefeated Andale. Oh, this is good. Both squads 12-0 coming into the night. Ball movement here for Andale. It's going to end up with Clint Wallstad. 4-3. Andale trailed by one at that point. McPherson making the plays in the second quarter. Passing around. Peyton Stevens, he's the one that ends up with it. And one. Bullpups stealing the momentum. Next possession, Kyler Kinneman. Add a little whistle on the end there, and we're good because McPherson takes your victory. A close one. They're 13-0 now, though, with a 57-55 win. Out to another matchup of ranked teams, Capen and Heights. Well, a special guest in the crowd there. Uh, Capen and Heights, Crusaders with Brock Monte. He's a quarterback. He's a sharpshooter. He's everything there. Four bounces on the rim. Pretty nice. Heights answering with Samaj Hervey for three. And Heights, your winner, 50 to 48. Gosh, got some close games out there tonight. The South boys are 9-3 and three on the season heading into tonight, looking for their fifth straight win if they can beat Southeast. A Caden Griffin block. Chris Stanford loves it. And then check that one out. Titans. That's exactly what they do. They get up. And second half now. South up 37-23. Adding to it. Griffin from the baseline. He drains it. Southeast would put together a run late in the fourth quarter. Milan Brown knocking down the three here, but wouldn't be enough for those Golden Buffaloes. South wins by a final of 58 to 44. Some girls action at Andover as Derby visits tonight. Andover's Jalen Agnew. That's why she's a D1 player right there. Going to Creighton Agnew with the three pointer. Derby answering here. Katie Hartman for three. Hartman would have to hit a lot more of them, though, to give her Panthers a chance tonight. It's a 45 30 final for Andover.